hello researchers welcome back so in this video we are going to see four journals okay so the journals are related to multidisciplinary urology uh, civil engineering computer science uh, so i'll be discussing taking you through all the parts of uh, the journal like what you should consider before you uh, submit your journal and what are the basic things which you have to check everything i'll be talking about so please watch till the end to know everything in a better way and before we start this is my channel gomes tech talks if you haven't subscribed yet and if you are a first time viewer so please go and subscribe it why should you subscribe because here i have a lot of playlist for you uh, to make your research smoother okay so this is the first playlist that is all about research which you should watch where i have discussed many things about how to write a letter of a letter to the editor to waive off your uh, um, for publication charge and i have discussed many things for the researchers so please don't forget to watch this playlist and the second important thing is what the sci scopus and index journals like i will be updating the video here at least weekly once so you can just go ahead and watch this i have already talked about various journals here so if you have any queries related to your research or your career or anything you know you can just schedule a call with me here the link is there in the description so let's go to the first link first journal which is journal of applied science and engineering here you can see this is multidisciplinary and it's an engineering journal okay so it's a general engineering and it's a multidisciplinary journal so once if you click here it will take you to this particular page journal of applied science and engineering so what you should see first okay so you have to check cross check the um uh, cross check with the ESSN number and ISSN number and who is the publisher okay so here you can see who is the publisher whether the ISSN and ESSN number are correct okay if you are okay you can just cross check with the editors as well so here they have provided the linkedin id you can just talk to them as well okay so this is the first thing which you have to check and the second thing if you are fine if you feel like yes this is the correct one and i should go ahead with that so you can just go ahead and check for the scope of the journal so if you just go to the about the journal uh, you can find the aim and the scope okay so in the aim and the scope you can find what is the aim uh, that is a physics mathematics chemistry chemical uh, material engineering electrical engineering civil and environmental engineering water resources mechanical electromechanical aerospace computer science and information so they have all these things to work with like you can submit your um, journal if you submit your article if your article is related to any of these scope okay and here if you wanted to submit your research you have to select here before that it's good to see what are the instructions to the authors okay so here either you can go to for authors you can find this authors page in any journal which you are planning for okay let's go ahead and first check the instructions to the authors so they'll be giving you any uh, some few journals they'll be providing you with the template and few journal they'll be instructing you like what they wanted to what type of um, template they require okay that is for their publication so here you can see it's a word template this is a latex template you can download it or else you can follow their uh, uh, template whatever they have given here follow their rules okay and the next one is that the um, um, article processing charges so here you can see this is first nine typeset pages okay they are costing nearly uh 12000 new taiwan dollar so what is a new taiwan dollar 12000 means in our indian rupee it's 31555 okay and uh, here it's like you can find uh, the fast publishing like you can get the um uh, get the response from them soon okay so this is what the aim and scope and if you want to go ahead and see about the previous articles um latest issue or list of issues in the previous lists you can just go ahead and check that as well okay so this is for um 2023 like i think they have nearly 12 issues so 12 issues they are publishing so you can just go ahead and watch it so let's just go and try uh, the ISSN and ESSN number um how it is actually so that is what the first one you have to just cross check okay uh so that is a one and here i could see that is it's not it's showing not secured but anyhow you can just go ahead and cross check you can, you have to okay not only here you should also go and cross check in the 
um, in your uh, uh, scopus here they haven't mentioned anything like what is the ear okay so in that case it is very very crucial for you to go and check whether it's there in scopus or not okay so please go and check it don't uh, uh, like few will be messaging me this is not in the scopus because i have updated i have uploaded the video before two years so now i cannot assure that whether it will be there in the scopus after six months you can you know so the next one is journal of information technology and construction so this is the year covered 1995 to 2024 and uh, this is building construction civil engineering and computer science and application so you can see like what is this all about like what are the topics they are just concentrating on the scope of the journal and if you just go ahead you can see how you can submit the paper okay and their uh, uh, information and everything here the layout how it should be everything they have mentioned here you can just format it and submit it once you have submit you can send you can send the paper to the email id and uh, you can see the special issues they have the special issue as well okay so you can just to find about the reason special issue when you should submit it so deadline for the full paper you can submit it by november 30 2024 and you can also get the information from them okay like what here they haven't mentioned anywhere like what is the cost of the journal few journal they'll not be mentioning so you have to send an email okay so send an email to the editor and get the information about it so where to find the email id so here they have given the email ids okay the third one is civil engineering journal and uh, this is uh, this is here in scopus and you can find that these are all the civil engineering environmental engineering geotechnical engineering so everything so here you can just go ahead and check uh, everything about it so what is the scope of the journal so i have explained you like what you have to check okay so they have some special issue as well so this is the final submission date okay and here they have article processing charges is 19, uh, 995 euro okay so you can just go ahead and type like euro uh, 995 you can just type 995 and it's 93,258 in Indian rupees so if you have any contributors or if you are getting any funds from your for your research so you can directly go ahead and apply if you are if you you are paper uh, having multiple authors then you can share that is also fine but if you want to go with this particular journal or not that you have to decide okay and finally to talk about is the um, minerva urology and nephrology so this is also there in scopus and it's completely about neurology and nephrology so here you can see you can just cross check it's a bi-monthly um, uh, issue that is i think six month six issues per year okay so you can just cross check with these uh, issn and essn and this is the aim and scope of the journal you can find here and the publication cost is free of charge actually so you can see that uh, manuscript is free of charge uh, and um, uh, they will be costing i think if you want to go ahead with the open access model that is if you wanted your uh, paper to be available for everyone then you have to pay some money okay so that you have to decide uh, so if you have any other queries related to the journal you can just send an email to them you know and then ask any specific queries if you have and if you have any general query related to your research or if you want to just a quick chat with me you can just send me an email here you can schedule a call with me here i'll be there to help you out thank you take care bye bye i'll see you soon with the next exciting video